to present his paper, which is called Digital Economy Problems and Prospects of Accounting and Measurement in the System of National Accounts. Please. Thank you. Dear colleagues, uh, the problem of uh, accounting the measures of the system of national account, I think it's not actual for Russia, but it's also actual for whole world statistics. Uh, because uh, right now we face some problems which, which you call, the, for example, uh, statistical puzzles. And for example, we have some problems with uh, interpretation of results of macroeconomic analysis. If uh, talk about one second, if talk about statistical puzzles, uh, I just remind you that we have some problems uh, which are observed in international economy, like such like slowdown of labor productivity, total factor productivity, deep influence of economic goods and product sector on basic macroeconomic analysis declining. I mean, slowdown of labor productivity and so on. And, and in this. Um, aspect, we have no any interpretation of such situation and we have no reasonable explanation of the situation. Other aspect of the problem are challenges to DC accounting and measurement, uh, which also faced by uh, international statisticians. I mean lower price of goods and services in EIST sectors, improving while improving their quality, increasing use of free D goods and services where, which we are, can't estimate properly, outrunning growth of expenditures of the commercial sector for IST services, uh, while if expenditures of acquiring IST assets, as also impact of assets formation. Uh, as to maybe total problems of accounting and measuring in international statistics, the accounting DE. I think that uh, the first problem, the main problem, is that is the objects with undefined boundaries. If I think that nobody can really define this object right now and says this is, uh, is final definition. Also, we have a, a final uh, subject criterion determining the DE structure. Also, we have domains of rating and index construction with D measurement. Also, we have incomparability of de developed estimates. For example, we can uh, check, for example, if we use uh, different methods of calculation GDP, we can control our results using different methods of uh, GDP estimates. And also, it consists of develop development estimates with the system of macroeconomic indicators. Uh, so, for statisticians, the main and I ask um, uh, questions are definition, definition of digital economy, as abbreviation D, structure of D, methods of D measurement, and also possibility of interpretation of developed estimates. Starting from uh, from from the start, I want uh, I show you on the, this picture shows that there is a net topology, simplified, absolute simplified topology. We have technical slice. For, exa for example, we have uh, basic databases. We have libraries of um, algorithms and uh, programs, and so on. It's only technical situation where, as we uh, interpreted our uh, digital economy like technical or just digitalization of economy. Also, we have another slice. Another slice, it will be when we use, when these um, when this devices are belong to somebody, to households, to uh, government, or to industrial sectors. And that's why if I, for example, cut all these lines, it's also sometimes calculated like digital economy. But if you try to understand what the digital economy is cutting these cuts, we just must to add up or summarize the consumption for uh, so-called so DE industries. And so we can also get a digitalization economy. But for, on my opinion, that the main um, main characteristic of digital economy that is based on internet resources. And no, for me, it's another approach is very, very I, I don't uh, take. So if I take about functional features of DE, so 
Uh, right now, it has uh, s s following features. And the system is a focus on final users. It's economic of customization, as we know. The system, system with new functional qualities. We call it sharing economy sometimes. So ability to create configuration with specialized functions. Internet of Things, e-commerce, and that's the, <laughs> the last uh, things is the best problem because now we are uh, moving away from a typical in, uh, macroeconomic system and we are making artificial objects which is very difficult to estimate or even to, to include in uh, strategic planning and development. Also, we have all kinds of beneficiaries which are defined in the system of national accounts of its commercial sector, general government, of, of course, households. Uh, so if we try to systemize, to make a system of definitions that we have in international statistics, so, so it's maybe four typical definitions. That's economy based on digital technologies, DT, so it's an extended definition that's, I think it take all economy, uh, the whole economy as approximately as it was as electrification of the company, of the national economy. So I think it's a dead end in measuring the system. Production activity with DT using, economy based on new methods of data. So it's, it's very uh, popular and, and well-known definitions. But if try to, Detail, detail is a very short for me um, table because it must be continued because we have very many definitions which we contradict each other. And this World Bank, Boston Council Group, and so on and so on. Here I underline some key features of this. What I like best, best I like BCG. Um, a definition because they, uh, as for my opinion, they use the same approach as me as internet, using of internet systems. Uh, so I, we suggest our own definition, maybe a ridiculous, but it's economy which integrates of production, distribution, and use of resources, products, because resources we have is be financial, be material, and so on, is based on the internet with the effects, I underline this word, associated with expanding the range and improving the quality of goods, services, and reducing cost in main sectors of the national economy. That, that's my definition, and I think it's rather, it's, um, uh, it can be used, in, we can, uh, to realize our idea, we can use system of national accounts, which has the, the, the same approximately structuring classification and so on. Uh, now, if we talk about structural components of digital economy, we have different structures, and that's, of course, uh, uh, not good for analytics. Because, for example, we have, for example, we have production structure and typical uses in industry structure, segments, sometimes product structure. Sometimes they use kind of economic operation, transactional approach. Sometimes they use combined structures and have special object. Uh, for, it's a well-known example when we calculate uh, the DG, DE influence on macroeconomic indicators, we use typical industrial structure. It's, we take uh, typical classification, uh, I seek, or in North America and so on. We, in Russia, we call a quad. And for example, we uh, show you some uh, industries which usually are included in this system. And if you try to detailize, detailize and see what is inside of these industries, we can see that, for example, manufacture of insu insulated wires and the cable. If you try to find the under group of in this, uh, in this, of course, aggregated, aggregated group, and if you try to detailize it, you will see uh, the components which are far, very far from digital economy. And that's a problem. That's a real problem for analytics to Mm, uh, differ, differ, wire and non-wire. This question is always rises from analytic, and it's on, 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 deep, on decision, on good decision of, or pro proper decision of this, um, of this uh, problem. It depends real your our real estimates and our real real measures. 
Uh, no, transactional structures well also well known where when we are uh, divide well differ b to b b to c and so other transaction in this case we have a main problem what we must estimate estimates if we estimate the cost of transactions it's a dinner pro one approach if we uh, try to estimate the goods and services which are uh, activated by these transactions it's another search another approach and another measures which be much more higher uh, also we have a menu of specialized D projects uh, some of them digital sector internet economy e-commerce and so on smart system and this is a very mixed system it's it's, it's uh, not very mm, good situation for analytic who, do, who who doesn't know what kind of measure he must use and it's very conditional uh, scale where I try to, to show the maximal the estimates DT if we use a, a def uh, definition when uh, digital economy uh, is based on digital technologies. And maybe on the left side, on the left side, I have e-commerce, but intermediate, they have another approaches. Uh, so also, we have some problem with measures of the characteristic of DE. Also, if I also try to systemize that because we will have very many approaches. And uh, first of uh, which is most popular, we call it sometimes statistics of digitalization, quantitative internet, audience, mobile internet, uh, very, 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 very big spectrum of uh, such uh, indicators. Main problem which I faced also with my colleagues that we must always have, if we try to get to value, to value indicators, we must use all models or some um, mechanism, understand some mechanism of transformation of quantity indicators to value indicators. And the, sometimes we are always faced the problems when we are rely on models, on estimation of the quality of models, Sometimes we called uh, we faced with false correlation, and it's, it's not also not so. I think not uh, perspective way. Other other uh, level is level of index construction. I can named many many indices for Russia, and when we try to understand what is going on, we find out that uh, yes. Last year, Russia was the, the, had the 35 position, now it's 36. It's, um, it's, it's clear that all um, scale, scale estimates, they are also not good, not interesting for analyzing. At the, the last one, which I'm maybe, uh, I, I think that it's more perspective, impact of social and economic processes using SNA methodology. Uh, what is, uh, if you're talking about disadvantages of existing practice of the measurement, I think so, uh, the, maybe some um, uh, main problems are which we use individual sector approach and sometimes it can be integrated in aggregated indicators. Sometimes we use subjective evaluation coefficient to divide di digital or non-digital components. Prefe Preference of production method of GDP and where formal agreement was estimates obtained on basic basis of altern alternative approaches. And uh, sometimes we uh, focused on the um, uh, recommendation which are made to the countries with very high level of technological and macroeconomic statistics. And uh, we try to sometimes... <laughs> Yes, and then lack, of course, lack of quality adjustment is the problem, main problem of uh, estimates of D, uh, D management. Uh, no, well, well I, uh, now I think we are, must talk about SNA main advantages. Our approach is, used, is, is to use uh, SNA approaches and SNA methodology to um, measure and estimates of impact of the economy on macroeconomic indicators. Because it's, as we know, balanced system based on developed system of classifiers, system with the logical sequence of accounts and so on. Uh, now we have an in international statistic a rather 
a wide experience of sending using and DE measurement. For example, typical work works as classifiers, well, classifiers when we, they are detailized. Sometimes uh, we see, we face, we see experimental calculation of digital economy components account. For example, uh, new version revision of uh, SNA, SNA 8, uh, when we have a special recommendation about intellectual property uh, products, including in, in microeconomic indicators and via capitalization. Adjustment to industry estimates on the basis of supply and use tables, very interesting uh, direction. Building, it's more prospect, building of analytical models of input-output tables and, of course, concept of satellite, satellite accounts and construction DE. Uh, what, from our point of view, I, I show you just one uh, typical approach, how it can be used, for example, supply and use tables to uh, maybe uh, correct uh, indicators that we are de that are developed by national statistics. A typical uh, industrial approach when we uh, calculate uh, calculate uh, or measure D value, we use typical production production formula when we uh, distract from output intermediate consumption. And our, usually we use some industries which are in, includes in um, includes in the um, scope of digital economy, and we get one measure. If, for example, we try to include non-profile industries uh, which produce the profile product of digital economy, we get the plus element, and we can, uh, we, we, we can correct the initial estimates. And the other approach is we uh, deduct the adjustment on profile digital goods and sold, we can get uh, another reduced estimates. And here I show you that uh, in the middle, middle, in the middle is the blue line is uh, standard approach, uh, green line, upper line is uh, this plus with no profile products, and minus red line is when we reduce non profile products of digital industries. So uh, maybe this picture is very, will be very interesting because when we see the dynamics, we can see that even in uh, 11 and 18 uh, years, the level was approximately the same, same. Of course, if we try to find the respect data, it will be absolutely the same because I think this is false, uh, false position when you calculate estimates the industry approach and trying to add all produced by industry which we include in digital economy. For example, cables and wires and so on, production of equipment, office equipment. Because, for example, in, nine, in, two, in this uh, year of 2011, we have, of course, the same, absolute, the same structure of produ producing. Uh, also, we have experience in Russia how we uh, calculated or uh, used the uh, recommendation of SNA about capitalization of R&D and included in capitalization and R&D of uh, in, uh, GDP of Russian Federation. So for example, for year of 2016, we have uh, we calculated the uh, GDP adjusted for R&D capitalization was plus. 1.9 percent. Uh, also, we did some works uh, trying to find to structure the components. It's a more, real more difficult um, task in national income. Also, we have some result. But also, also, we have another concept of digital se segments. I should you show time. Yeah, time's getting a little short. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's, we have another new, comp uh, another new um, approach to uh, calculate or estimate the industrial using the industrial segment to measure the output of uh, the economy. Uh, this is about this uh, concept, and the, is our concept uh, 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 is typical for auxiliary activity in SNA and. Uh, this is talk, and usually we use we use um, 
uh, ideas of bureau economic analysis, which I very appreciate their, their development, and I think that really artificial approach to estimate and measure, uh, measure, measure digital economy. So future steps are work related to specification or classification, uh, solution of uh, estimates of free services, uh, quality characteristic services produced within households, works with SNA application, I mean, uh, work with tables of use and supplies and use tables, of course, works with um, uh, in output tables and also combination of different data, data sources. Very good. Yes, thank you. Very good. Thank you very much, Alexander. Uh, well, as we agreed, I would like to invite uh, Andrei Tatarinov to, to submit comments from a discussant. Um, uh, thank you, Chair. I would say that I uh, had prepared some comments on the paper posted and uh, the <coughs> presentation we've just seen a few minutes ago is quite different from the <laughs> posted paper. So that is why it's, it's a lot of new <laughs> items there, but uh, they are certainly uh, a good addition to what was uh, posted in internet site. Uh, digital economy is one of the priority objects of the research agenda for the system of national accounts as it was uh, decided by the Statistical Commission of the United Nations. We know that the presented paper considers different issues of accounting and measurement of the digital economy. <clears throat> Analytical part of the study presents author's assessment of the current state of the digital economy statistics, and it is concluded that the existing shortcomings prevent uh, the use of developed estimates uh, in macroeconomic analysis and forecasting. Uh, the major reason for this situation uh, due to the paper is uh, multidimensionality of uh, digital economy and subjective perception uh, of its boundaries and composition. Actually, uh, we, uh, what, what is going on now, it's, uh, it was partly shown here, but I want to repeat that the present results of SNA research in digital economy measurement are mostly expressed in the development of digital economy satellite account. Uh, oh, DESA, proposed by OCD and uh, approved uh, as a mainstream of uh, further development for, uh, uh, as a complex tool of, uh, 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 for measuring uh, the digital economy and uh, digitalization process as a whole. It is assumed by the compilers and the designers of this uh, satellite account uh, that it will enable statisticians to evaluate the measurable phenomena and uh, in the digital economy and even to expand the production boundaries by including free digital services into the evaluation. Compilers of this uh, new satellite account now focus on digital supply and use tables that play the role of core statistics for future uh, satellite account. In, in the process of uh, this uh, traditional SUT structure is revised by including new groups of specific products and extracting digital components of several products of CPA classification. Moreover, developers even add new industries that form uh, by reclassifying producer units engaged in digital production. In spite of obvious progress of this uh, work, uh, for example, we know that uh, uh, SUT for the United States was already published and now <laughs> is discussed in literature. We have to agree that the overall satellite account structure is not yet fully defined. Uh, the author's approach, as far as I could understand uh, uh, from the paper, is based on presentation of digital economy as a composition of different objects 
uh, which should be characterized by separate indicators. Mm, uh, this is uh, proposed as an alternative approach to the existing approach based on construction of aggre aggregated uh, indicators. Uh, in this regard, it is necessary to mark that uh, the concept of selection of industry digital segments or these objects was also proposed in the paper. Mm, uh, the author considers that in the future uh, the proposed approach uh, will make it possible to use the SNA satellite accounts for the analysis of the digitalization process. But uh, from my point of view, the major question is how to combine these two integrated and separated approaches within the SNA framework. I think it will be the most most difficult thing to realize, to implement. Hope to see the answer in the future results of our respective uh, presenter today. <laughs> Thank you very much. I have some, Thank you. some flights, but uh, chairman stopped me. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't. Five or six slides about you. it. it was oh, stopped me. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. And then I have uh, okay. another some. But in any flights. case, in any case, uh, I, I hope you have to, you have to reply. Reply? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> to, 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 to discuss on a very, very interesting remarks from, from discussion. Yes, I think uh, Andre uh, says that we must, as it was uh, uh, reflected in the paper, that we must get uh, or use uh, different approaches for estimation of different uh, components of digital economy. Mm -hmm. uh, our approach, which was in the fifth, fifth slide, was uh, that we must, first of all, we must use digital, uh, so-called digital basket to divide or to, to differ uh, uh, digital economy measurement in commercial sector. First of all, we must um, study how to do it. And that was another approach which I, we suggest. It looks like auxiliary, as you know, auxiliary uh, uh, enterprises. Uh, establishment which you use in the system of national account. This we call uh, establishment approach. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, uh, we really, we got one figure for 18 years. It, for 18 years, it's approximately 1.4% is measure of Russian digital economy uh, for, for the last year. So it's working. It's working. It's based on the national account approaches. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It, it, can, it can do it. Very well. It works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> we have to figure it So. Thank you. Oh, you <laughs> have a question? Or a if I can get this to work. Yeah, Very interesting presentation. I'm looking forward to taking your slides home. <laughs> uh, so you, uh, your favorite definition of digital economy would just be all the businesses uh, that are based on the internet, right? Things that are centered around the internet. Uh, I think the, uh, uh, what we found when we started discussing this is people wanted to add, first of all, the services that make the internet possible. So website designer gets thrown into the digital economy because it's creating the internet experience. And then they said, well, how about the physical infrastructure? So then they want to include the computers, the routers, the switches, the, uh, you know, the, your smartphone. So everything that makes the digital economy possible, they ended up adding to it. I don't know if you have any views on that. Um, uh, our idea is, uh, oh, sorry, excuse me. our idea is that in each industry, we have so-called internet segment. Mm -hmm. As a, uh, like, for example, accounting department or uh, um, uh, trade department. And if you know, when we try, when we work with um, input output tables, mm -hmm. and we try to make symmetrical tables, mm -hmm. we always use some proportion, Leontief's proportion. You know, when we um, spread for our proportions, the industrial proportion right. for the same. We take, for example, uh, accounting 
uh, enterprises uh, establishment and with the same we, we may do the same approach for uh, digital economy pro, uh, digital economy uh, enterprises so if we can divide our input mm -hmm. or input in in the production system divide our input in two parts first part is is connect of digital for example payment for digital for internet services if we get this, these figures, we can divide it and calculate the output of digital economy. That's right, right. my opinion. It's in work that we calculate for Russia for the last year. It's this is, sounds a lot like the OECD proposal with their yeah. digital economy. No, beer, beer. Supply and use tables. It's, it's, uh, um, because this idea of Bureau of Economic Analysis yes. in the United States, and I like it very much. Oh, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Any, any other questions? Yes, please. Да, да, да. Только в микрофон, пожалуйста. Вот такой. Цифровые технологии сейчас присутствуют практически в каждом секторе экономики и в каждом виде экономической деятельности. А и цифровые экономики, цифровые технологии – это наши новые знания. И вот когда мы рассматриваем цикл знаний, то, как вы считаете, цифровая экономика и экономика знаний, они в будущем уже станут одной дефиницией? И тогда система национальных счетов – это же тоже система знаний об экономике, система управления знаниями об экономике. Вот, по-русски можно? Да? Да. А, ну, первое, что надо понять, что экономика знаний, например, это все должно оцениваться в каких-то критериях. Значит, это должны быть, это новый подход, это assets, economical, экономические активы. И это сейчас тема очень здорово развивается, когда вы экономику знаний или там любые вещи, которые даже экономика домашних хозяйств, там, durables и так далее, вы это уже считаете активами экономическими. И в СНС это и есть подходы такие, такого рода, когда вы капитализируете, и вы считаете эти показатели, уже включая их в систему национальных счетов, и считая в том числе такие показатели, как ВВП, национальный доход и так далее. Поэтому сольется ли это или нет, я не знаю, но это, в общем-то, одного поля вещи. И, видимо, это просто будет какая-то конвергенция названий. Вот. В экономике знаний, чтобы произвести знания, распространить, мы же цифровые технологии используем, чтобы использовать то же самое не знание. Всегда. Не, не всегда. всегда. Не всегда. Ну как, что, разве всегда мы ну, в экономике знаний используем цифровые технологии? Мне не нужны иногда цифровые технологии, когда я озарила какая-то идея, и мне не нужны никакие цифровые технологии. Это, знаете, это тоже своего рода... Ну, Сверху. А чтобы обменяться идеей? А? Да, обменяться, да, идеей, да, но это можно сделать и без цифровых технологий. Я могу прийти к вам, и мы можем так поговорить, что никакие цифровые технологии нас не спасут.